This is a bit different. What's that really bright object up ahead? Hmm. Anyway. <coughs> Welcome back to No Man's Sky. So here's my ship. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm still in the outlaw system. But I just... I, I read something that kind of alarmed me. And what I read is that um, if you leave material in a refinery and then log off, that it might disappear. I don't know if this is true. That's what I read. So what I'm going to do is just preemptively mine another one of those um, rusted metal patches just to just so I don't run out because I'm going to go back home after this and just see if that refinery is empty because I put a lot of rusted metal into the refiner and um, <laughs> I'm hoping it's still there, but if it's not there, I don't want to be super disappointed by being out of iron, so I'm just going to mine some right now. See if I can spot a, a resource patch. It should show up while I'm flying, right? It should show up. Maybe I got super lucky when I found that last one. Well... I... I don't know, maybe there's some reason why I'm not seeing it, but let's land. Wow, there's sodium plants here on a lifeless planet. Bit strange. Well, I'll take them because I'm... I remember I used up all that sodium when I was fighting sentinels that one time. So I really need more... Great, and here, let's do a scan. Wait, copper deposit, rusted metal deposit, rusted metal, rusted metal, silver, really. Oh, hey, there's one of those whispery eggs. Let's... <laughs> I, I realized I screwed up that last one that I did because whispering eggs will physically roll away. They don't just come to you like everything else in the game. And um, let's just um, switch to the blaze javelin, right? Let's go here, pick them up. Well, I don't know if they keep spawning or not, but I'm not going to stick around. There's no reason to really stick around. 
Oh, see how I can see that? I can see that metal patch up here, but I couldn't see them while I was in my ship for some reason. Very strange. Very, very strange. Silver. You know, I don't have a lot of silver. I better should, uh, I should probably gather this. Here we are. Looks like there's a cave system down there too, with life in it on this lifeless planet. Here we are, rusted metal. Yeah, so I mined that one a little faster than the others because I think I, it'd probably be more efficient use of my time to hit multiple uh, deposits. him quickly. I'm using the medium one. Time to go. Okay, now um, I'm just going to get this iron refining and then I've got to install, I think, I think I've got a module to install and I want to get going on Artemis as a storyline. Right, let's see what we got here. Oh. <laughs> It is here. Well, I lucked out. I heard that, that there's a good chance that this will vanish if you quit the game without removing it first. Well, that's great. Let's get the rest of it going.
Now, um, summon Rummer Exocraft. Now, I had. I've got some stuff in here I really don't need. Um, let's get rid of that first. Clear up my inventory space. So, quick transfer. Transfer, transfer, transfer. Transfer, transfer, transfer. I can't remember what the... the point of the um, larval core is. I mean, there must have been some massive reward for that to be worth risking your life over. I just can't remember what it is. Um, I had something I wanted to make. Exit. Consumable trade item, curiosity, component. All products. No, hold on. Wait a second, wait a second. What about the, um, that Exocraft thing that I bought? One of the recipes, the one I bought. Yeah, this one. Install Exocraft Radar. Hmm. Okay. Microprocessor. 50 chromatic metal. Cool. I got that. Chromatic metal. Did I use it all? I could have swore I had some left over, but maybe not. Oh, here it is. No. So. So craft radar. That's it. Man, look at all this space. <laughs> it's just um, high slide suspension. Uh, specifically tuned to increase the ability. Exocraft to slide. Uh, turn sharply and to drift. These sound mutually exclusive. Mm. Like you should have to take like one of them, not all three. I don't know. Yeah, look at that. These ones reduce forward grip. This one increases angular grip, not forward grip. And this one decreases, yeah. So you basically have to decide which style you want to go with with your suspension, but not not install more than one of them. I don't know. I haven't driven enough to really know what I prefer. But I can say that I want to up in this thing. And give it a scan. Oh, what do we got here? So, oh, look at that! <coughs> wow. So this is like... This is cool, because it gives you actual deposits. Your normal scan doesn't do that. Right. <coughs> Well, that's handy.
Evet. So let's um, let's take back uh, take off again, and then we'll go looking for Artemis clues. Why is it jumpy like that? Yeah, hollow terminus, that's the thing. Oh yeah, I'm not turning. Why is it doing this? changing my perspective. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, um, Artemis. Important storyline. I did do, I did do the Artemis, um, at least the early part of it, in the previous one years ago. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This must be... <laughs> I see what you did. It's one of those approximate locations, isn't it? Where you'd be better off giving it a good old Mark One eyeball. That'd be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is, there it is. Always nice. Well, this is just a coincidence. This this, this doesn't look like um, what I came here for. There's a lot of this damaged machinery here, isn't there?
Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. Man, it blended in so well. I was looking for a big tower, but I couldn't see it. And there it is. It's right there. Can I get to this without climbing the stairs? I can. Nice. Holographic to comms tower. Recharge the transmitter to boost the signal. Mm. Power condenser. Chargeable power unit. Really? I don't remember needing that. I thought it was like some kind of just, you know, dump some sodium in it or something. A piece of rechargeable power technology. Harvests any heat energy wasted during the machine's operation and uses it to generate extra power. Anyways. Charge equipment with... Oh, left-click to charge equipment with catalytic elements. Oh. It was sodium. Great. Uh, multiple signal sources are available. Powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication long distances. Extra power should allow me to reestablish communication connection with Artemis. Tune to Artemis's frequency. Uploading the data from our previous communication. Okay. Signal match detected. Hello. Who's there? You, it's you again, isn't it? <laughs> you really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream. Say you hope so. No, I'll say I am. Sorry, it's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the something. It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry, I haven't heard another voice in so long, not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Okay. Ranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? What do you know? Transmit, Transmit a vision. A red star in a fragile world. I do not know the shapes. I do not understand the shapes within the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see this stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. It's very, very vague. And through the darkness, I hear it said. Anomaly detected. <laughs> sure. Designation Traveler Awakened. But I showed you just now. It has 
haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey someplace to finally meet. I, it cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from that crashed ship? Upload the data. I upload the exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me, but this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. Yeah, I sold it. Sorry. I smelted it. <laughs> we need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across this system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to something, find my way out, and you'll get all the answers you seek. Sounds like a plan. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Not likely. Okay. New building part learned. Signal booster. Mm-hmm. A versatile scanner that detects nearby buildings can decrypt navigation data to pinpoint specific locations. Can decrypt navigation data. Navigation data. I have I have some navigation data. The signal booster can be dismantled. Yeah, redeployed. Yeah, it's like a refiner, isn't it? Metal plating, carbon nanotubes. Okay. Mm. Triangulate your position. Place the first beacon. Space for the signal to work. Aren't we supposed to go to a waypoint and deploy something? Triangulate your position. Visit several planets. Several planets. And build signal boosters in order to triangulate position. Is it matter? Does it not matter what planet I go to? Is that right? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe see, I was I was expecting I was expecting waypoints, but maybe not. Hey, let's um. pick up something here that I need.
So I have to I have to get a recipe. I just hope that I can put it in the base. I don't know anything about like how big these things are or what. But I wanna buy a large refiner. Medium refiner. Large refiner. Here it is. Costs 10 salvage data. And I... Yeah, it's not too expensive. I can, I can deal with that. But this allows three substances to be refined, combined into one new material. That's what I want. Insufficient salvage modules. What? Zero salvage data, what? Did I... I thought I'd been collecting these left and right. What happened to them all? Really, what happened to them all? That would be from the underground technology modules, right? I mean, I've been getting them. I've been, I've been getting a lot of them. I have zero? That can't be right. Well, I'm very disappointed. What happened? Because, I mean, every time I dig up one of those things, I get like four of them. confusing the get out key with the launch key. Alright, well, let's make sure triangular position is selected. I honestly have no idea. I have no idea if there's waypoints. I don't see any waypoints. So I'm just gonna put the I'm just gonna put it down and see what happens. That's very strange. I could have swore there were waypoints. But it's been so long. Signal booster. Triangulation progress is zero percent. booster.
angular position. Okay, 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 I get it now. So that's that's a it's a feature of the signal booster to do the triangulating. I don't think I need to leave that there. Uh there's the waypoint that I remembered there being. <laughs> okay. The first one you can put wherever you want, and then the game picks the second and third positions for you. I'm ignoring you. I have to focus. Doesn't look like an easy landing spot. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Processor, navigation data. It says it can decrypt navigation data. Well, let's test that out. Jack Relic. Yeah. Another microprocessor. That's good. Oh, hey, it's one of these. I've seen these once. You have to do something to get in. Exosuit upgrade module. Oh, dear, yeah, you have to... Um... Antimatter housing. Sodium nitrate. Carbon nanotubes. So I need to make an antimatter housing. And carbon nanotubes. Great. Install new suit slot. And this one's free, isn't it? That's nice. Even though it says purchase. upgraded. Yay. So, um, signal booster. Um, I thought, I thought this, I thought decrypting navigation data was one of the features. Um, that's not what I was thinking. See, navigation data. Where did it go? 
I, I, I just got rewarded some. Oh, it's here. Do I... Do I have to transfer it to my exosuit first? And then maybe... No. How do you decrypt? Well, that's confusing. The game told me that I can decrypt navigation data with the signal booster. Apparently not. Right. So here's my final triangulation location. stuff that's useful here, right? Navigation data. I'm very confused by the whole encrypted navigation data thing in this game. Great. Under attack. My understanding is that these are not really a threat. It's just an opportunity to get in a fight. Really?
traitor. Kick. Ugh. Um, thank. If. what it wants. I'm going to guess carbon. I decline to eat my gift. Uh-huh. Sure, okay. I'm sure that meant something. Five aliens. Yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to. Sometimes I know you get free carbon from these things, but I don't remember how you do it. All right, Gek Observatory. Um, beacon has been received, and transmission sequence awaits response. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's one of these. One of these again. All right, 12, 12, 21, 21, 12, 12, 21, 21. Right? I discover a location within the distant stars. Uh, that's not distant stars. That's, that's like right next to it. Well, look, we should go check that out. Is it in my uh, my log? It's not within my log, so um, like I don't know if there's a if this is time sensitive. Like, do I should I? Oh wow! Okay, I can't get in there. There. I guess. I guess is. There's not much to do here, except go to this thing. Ancient ruin, off planet. Really. All right. Well, let's do this. Signal booster. Regular position. Finished. Not on Polo seek dedicated travelers to assist the research in space with some of the anomaly, blah blah blah. Alright, I don't let's let's go to that. Let's see what an ancient ruin does. I have to end the episode soon, but I will hmm. I'll check this out. It's right on the edge of this cliff.
Uh, what do we have? What do we have? We have an ancient ruin. Interesting. Knowledge stone. Gek work for word for help. Yeah. So that was separate, I take it. Knowledge stone. Gek word for and. Oh, this is just knowledge stones. It's inside this place. Is there stairs? Oh, hey. Can I go up there? Yeah, it looks like I can go up there, but... Hard to see. It's hard to see. Well, I'm at the level of this window up here, and this one. Oops. I don't think I can go any higher. I thought for sure there'd be something up here since you have to work to get here. Visitation of Mepute. As I, I touch the obelisk, images of the planet's ancient past flood my mind. The terrible beginnings of the Gek have been absorbed by this strange stone, and their tale seems desperate to escape. All who hear our words know of our might. All those who oppose us are broken to our will. Behold the power of the, the Gek first spawn. I still find that funny. Galaxies lie at our feet! We are eternal! There's no need to yell. Why are you doing that? Um, let's do this knowledge of the past thing. Alright. What did that do? Historical data reveal. Really? What's that? Ancient ruin off planet. Another one. Hilarious. So that's it. That's all I get. Is it a trail of breadcrumbs? Is that what this is? They just chasing me. No, oh, for fuck's sake. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't even remember how to do this. These guys are all shields of very little health, which is great.
that it? Wait, what is this? Uh, it's Artemis again. I, I was trying to recharge my shields, and I and when I first reached when I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger, and here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, and let's find each other. All right? Okay. Didn't we try that already? Oh yeah, this, <clears throat> this was. Let's try this one more time. Recharge equipment. Hey, this is going by itself. It's going down by itself. Does that mean my shield is recharging on its own? Why would I waste resources doing it then? Okay, I'm fine with that. I was going to go here. Artemis can wait. He's been waiting thousands of years already, hasn't he? This ancient ruin looks very different than the last one. At least they're not all the same, that's nice. But what's up with this one? to interact with at all here? Wait, here's something. Oh gosh, Gravitino Ball. I know what these do. They summon sentinels. Don't they? Well, I might as well see how bad it is. those endless, this better not be one of those endless wave things. Because If it's an endless wave in, I can't, I can't beat it in space. So that means I have to basically fight on the ground until, until I probably I die. Or... I can back myself into a corner and, and fight him from one direction. Well, 
where are the sentinels? Well, we'll see if we'll see what they if they come. In the meantime. Are those sentinels over there? That's interesting. So the sentinels are here, they just aren't on me. Are they coming? Do they actually search for you? Okay. Salvage data. One, two, three, three. Oh, it just occurred to me that I might have stored my salvage data in this, in storage in my base. That might be why I couldn't find any. Well, I'm still gonna try to get some more. I've eight already. This should give me the ten I need. There we go. Cannot summon in combat? What do you mean cannot summon in combat? I'm not in combat. Are you kidding me? <sighs> what in the world does that mean? No, I'm serious. What does that mean? Because I don't have any way to get to my ship now because... Other than just walk back, I guess. And does that mean I'm in combat? We're... I'm not in combat, guys. I mean, if I'm in combat, well, who am I fighting, exactly? You know, do I have to seek out the sentinel and shoot him? Is that right? What is the sentinel doing down there? That is the sentinel, right? That little red target thing? Whoa. Itch. That's a long ways down. Really? This is frustrating. I just want to get out of here. What have I done wrong here? What have I done wrong? Somebody tell me. Well, there's my ship. But apparently I'm in combat.
I thought that if you land your ship, you're out of combat. See, now they're just they're just waiting for me. If I land. This is really dumb. It's going to be one of those situations where um, where I kill a sentinel and then the next ones come. Yep. This is that endless loop, right? I mean, how do you get out of the endless loop once you're in it? Because apparently landing doesn't work. if I land, watch what happens. Oh look, yay, now I'm here, but I can't, I can't, you know, they're just gonna, they're just gonna go away until I launch again. Unbelievable. Elite Sentinels. What? That's an elite. I think you understand what the word elite means. I really don't understand this combat cycle because I land and they may or may not send sentinels at me. And as soon as I take off, I'm immediately tagged for interception. And there's, there's like, there's one on my radar over here, but I can't tell how far away it is. So I don't know if it's worth hunting him down or if he's hunting me or if he's waiting for me. There's, there's, there's just no indication what to do here. Look at this. Where are they? Reinforcements arriving. Oh, this is... Bullshit. Sentinel Walker. Oh, really? Where is it? Is that it? I really don't like how the game does not allow you to escape combat. Once you've engaged combat, you're stuck in it. Where is he? Where, where if? Mm. Mm. 
More interceptors. I just don't like games spawning stuff in magically. These things should be existing out there somewhere. For them to get to me. So I basically just have to fly up and let him kill me. Unless I can escape with the anomaly. That's always an option. Where's the interceptors? Did they give up? Did they finally give up? Well, thank goodness. Here, let's... Let's call that anomaly in anyway. I know I'm way over time here, guys, but I got stuff I want to do. And that, that just took a huge chunk of time. But I'm not done yet. It would be nice if there was a quicker way to get to the back where you where you buy stuff. It's a long walk. You know. Demetrius. Two hundred and fifteen nanites. That's always nice. All right, all right. Let's try this one more time. I want the large refiner, please. And I want one more microprocessor. <laughs> to learn how to make a microprocessor. Presumably you can, I just have no idea. There we go. Great. safe and sound. Let's put the big one large refiner. Is there a front to it? I think that might be the front. Large refiner. Aha! Alright, so we're going to stick some oxygen in here. 
and some ferrite, I guess, and I think some kind of carbon, maybe condensed carbon. Hmm. <laughs> So what I want. All right. So, how do I make the um, the Exocraft summoning station? I need one unstable plasma. Again. Takes a bit. There it is. Exosuit, 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 exosuit. And exosuit. Now. Um, Exocraft summoning station. <laughs> well, I don't know why it works this way, but apparently this is how it works. If you build one of these, then the Exocraft is summonable anywhere in the entire system. Sadly, only just the system. But that's it. That's it for now. Um, I guess it's just a matter of... Um, continuing Artemis after this and hopefully not getting into uh, any more sentinel fights for a bit because I do find those to be a rather huge waste of time because every single time I get into a fight with a sentinel at all I either have to wait it out for ages like I just did or just die so anyways that's it for today thanks for watching we'll catch you next time